Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we need to talk. We actually don't need to talk. I need to vent. <laughs> uh, so okay, I woke up today feeling like shit. Okay, absolute shit. And you know, it happens from time to time. It happens to all of us. And the immediate thought I had was I shouldn't show up for the readings in this energy. You know, I shouldn't record anything today precisely because I'm feeling all crappy. And I watched a video by Adam Ellen Bass, um, and it really lifted me up and elevated my form of thinking. And it just made me realize that if I'm feeling this way, it's very likely that many of you are feeling this way. So instead of just coming in here and showing kind of like the edited version, the Instagram <laughs> version of, um, you know, who I am, I just, I want to show up here and read the cards for you and share with you my feelings and how I'm perceiving reality from a very dark light right now very dark space right now and maybe we can lift each other up or maybe we could just sit in the darkness and hang out <laughs> whatever it may be I'm showing up you guys and yeah just letting it be earth can be hard sometimes being a human can be hard sometimes and you know if you're having a great time and I'm totally gonna like <laughs> rain or your parade this is probably not gonna be your reading um but if you are like me having you know a bit of a rough morning or a rough time in your life join me <laughs> you're not the only one so yeah sometimes when it rains it pours and i've been in a moment of my life in which i've had several really tough things happen back to back and you know, I am someone who struggles with depression usually. Of course, all these energy practices and my connection to spirit is what, you know, keeps everything going and it keeps everything in a space of harmony. But sometimes it gets the best of me. And sometimes I do feel like crap, <laughs> like today. And, you know, I've been going through one thing after the next and after the next. And it's just like the straw that broke the camel's back. And, I don't know, I just want to share a lot with you. Just because I'm here creating things that I feel that can help you, doesn't mean that I don't need help myself, you know? Just because I come here and show up as a channel for spirit, doesn't mean that I don't have all those same messages to receive and process and learn from. And I know that many of you know this. But for others of you, you know, tarot readers or light workers or healers or therapists or whatever, almost feel like they they mastered what, you know, other human beings are struggling with. And it's not necessarily the case. So just putting that out there, coming into the space in my vulnerability and yeah, just, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Let's see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, please bring in the most relevant, important, accurate messages for Pisces, especially for all of us who may be feeling this way today. So first card showing up here, we got the Magician. And it immediately makes me understand that it is an ingredient. Maybe the sadness, maybe the frustration, maybe the pain continues to be an ingredient in the recipes the magician uses, right? Certain levels of wisdom, I believe, cannot be attained if it's not for certain experiences that are not pleasant. And that awareness is what could make a difference in, in the moments in which you need it most. And with the magician here as well, I see that some of you are kind of like creating this recipe for your life. She's looking at the void, seeing how 
the energies are all around seeing the cycles, seeing the phases, the elements. And there could be a very empowered energy at this time coming from the pain that you have been through. And that actually showed up in a previous reading uh, now that I think about it. So what's a challenge at this time? Queen of Pentacles. Some of you may be feeling like you have um, some kind of issue with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Maybe you're having some kind of issue about um, financial stability, physical health, stability in the home, or something along those lines. Some of you could be having a challenge finding peace. Because the Queen of Pentacles to me is a very peaceful energy. And showing up as a challenge is that maybe you're trying to manifest that peace and you're not being able to for whatever reason. Now others of you could definitely be trying to manifest something and having an earth sign um, kind of coming in the way, kind of like just blocking it in some shape or form. Or maybe you're wanting to manifest something, but by not having the financial, physical stability, you're not being able to. Take whatever resonates with you. You know, I come here and I um, will tell you all of the messages that come in. And not all of them are going to be for all of you. In the recent past, I see here the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may have experienced a lot of stability. You may have experienced a lot of financial success. Maybe you benefited from some kind of lineage, inheritance in the past. There may have been a healthy, happy home situation, possibly a marriage, something that provided you with all of, you know, that stability. And I feel like it didn't really translate into the present because in the present, it almost seems like you're trying to reach back. It seems like you're trying to open a vortex here and grab the past and bring it towards the future or the present. And what I'm getting here is that there seems to be uh, error. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, how crazy. I never use that word. And I said error, and immediately my eyes were drawn to a part of my computer that says error, which is like super rare. I've never noticed that was there. So I'll just take it as a confirmation because I was going to correct that word. I'm not going to correct it now. It may feel like there was some kind of error. You may feel, and there may be, but in the form of translating what you see, some of you may feel like su success is in the past and you have to sort of rescue it, retrieve it, and bring it into the future. But what I'm getting here is that that form of success you have outgrown. And spirit is one wanting to almost kind of let you know that there is something different, something better that you should be aiming for instead of focusing on the past and what it brought. Bottom line, the best is in the future, not in the past. <laughs> so some of you need to stop working so hard to bring a past success back into the future. Wow, that's confusing. You know what I mean. into the future so yeah definitely heartache and difficulty for some of you some of you may feel like you're not enough like you're being pulled in all sorts of directions some of you may feel overwhelmed some of you may feel a lot of heartache some of you are in grief and spirit is telling you just continue to go through the motions okay with the eight of pentacles which is a card of hard work even though you may feel like you have no fight left in you, Spirit is basically just letting you know that the best thing you can do is just continue to go through the motions. Take from the pain that you feel the wisdom to continue moving. And it doesn't have to be at a fast pace. You don't have to challenge yourself. You don't have to aim for perfection or success. Okay, you can take it easy, you can take your time, you can relax. But just 
continue to go through the motions and move forward. It is like that. I have a mug <laughs> that says, um, in order to keep your balance in life, it's like a bicycle, you have to keep moving. Life is like a bicycle. In order to keep your balance, you need to keep moving. Even if it's super slow. In the environment, you have the sun. And we're going through a solar eclipse right now in Aries. There could be a lot of light shining in and showing you your heartache, showing you difficulty, showing you dissatisfaction. Some of you have maybe buried a lot of things, sort of like in the depths of you, with the intention of healing that or dealing with that at a better time or something. And I feel like the sun is coming in here and saying, you know, lift that rug and bring all of that that you have hidden under the rug out and clean it for good. 1111 as I say that. Some of you may be entering a time in which you feel kind of lost, lost, unfulfilled, bored. Because the Four of Cups usually talks about some kind of offer from spirit or invitation or offer from someone that you're not necessarily feeling is that appealing and therefore you may reject. Focus on the heart is what I'm getting. Focus on the heart. Some of you are here encouraged to work your magic. Normally the Eight of Pentacles shows a guy very, very focused at work, you know, doing his thing, um, building all these pentacles, whatever. But in this case, she is sitting in a desk, but instead of working on, you know, the normal kind of like day-to-day -day things that people work at, you know, computer, notebook, whatever, um, she has herbs and spices, she has candles, um, what looks like grimoires, um, the faces of the moon. So I feel like Spirit is telling you, don't be afraid, and with the Magician here as well, like, don't be afraid to work your magic at this time. But not with an emphasis on, I want that. More of an emphasis of, what within me is preventing me from having that? And I feel that is what real manifestation is. It's not forcing something to come into your life. It's not forcing things to be aligned. It's instead going within and finding why they aren't in the first place. What is keeping those from happening naturally? What within you is pushing certain things away? And I feel like Spirit is almost encouraging you to go deep within your own healing, in your own healing process and, you know, write down everything that you see. Hopes and fears, you got the Eight of Cups. Some of you may be like, you know what, this is not worth it. I'm just gonna walk away from everything. I'm gonna leave everything behind. I'm just gonna, whatever, just get lost. Not even like start a new. Some of you are just like, I don't even want it in the beginning. Like, I just wanna lay in bed. Some of you may be like, I just need a break. I just need to isolate. I just need to go into hermit mode, not talk to anybody. And I feel you, that is, a very, very, you know, present symptom of depression. If you are someone who goes through depressive episodes or if you have any kind of condition that brings that into your day-to-day -day for you to deal with, you know, it may be a very normal thing um, in your reality. And I'm not here to say that it's okay or that it's not. I'm not here to promote a certain way. <laughs> or treatment for healing. I'm just here to read the cards and share time with you. Share what my experience has been and, you know, within the extent in which you want to receive that. Just, you know. But I see that some of you are just kind of like, fuck this, <laughs> basically. And others of you are kind of like, yes, fuck this, but I can't let this win or I can't let this energy take over 
I can't let myself indulge in numbness. And we got here the devil card. So it seems here like this devil energy, this toxicity, this darkness is inviting you in. <laughs> Confirmation. <laughs> you see how in this particular card, it's like this devil energy is literally inviting you to take its hand and you see in his hand how he is almost torturing here the mind energy healing energy clearing could definitely help with this also the awareness and the understanding that even though these feelings emotions conditions are part of the human experience it doesn't necessarily mean that they are needed Sometimes they show up and we may be able to say, you know what, I'm good. I don't need to go down that rabbit hole. I don't need to go down another really tough lesson. Maybe I just prefer peace. Maybe I just prefer to move forward. And, you know, it's tricky. It's tricky because sometimes we feel so tempted to discover why we're feeling this way to go through that rabbit hole and learn and heal and manifest and it's great kind of awful you know but it's great too <laughs> and other times it's kind of like not practical to engage so that really relies on you that is really what's in your hands say you know is this a learning opportunity is this something that i can use in my favor is this something that can ultimately lift me up even if it's not immediately or is this something that just is not worth it and i guess that's what it comes down to pisces if the darkness if your shadow self is inviting you for this journey like the devil card is inviting here you get to say yes or you get to say no so what's it gonna be? It seems like you stepped over your rose-colored glasses. They're broken and you're like, whoa, now what? You're seeing things around that they are not pretty. At least they're not as pretty as they looked when you had your rose-colored glasses. So are you gonna go into understanding what you see? Taking advantage of what you see? Or is this one of those times in which you're gonna be like, you know what, I pass. <laughs> not right now. I'm not I'm not interested at this time. Either way, it's fine. Either way, it's sort of like your your choice. And I feel like many of you are going to be presented with this offer from your shadow self to dive deep into all of it. And that's precisely the offer that you're gonna be rejecting, showing up here in the Four of Cups. You may be like, you know what? I always go down, I always go down that rabbit hole. I always wanna learn more about myself. I always want to heal more. And you may be like, you know what? That's not what I want right now. I just wanna to go to bed or I just wanna go on a trip. I just wanna go into nature. I just wanna take some time off. Whatever it may be. However, there are two messages that are really, really showing up loudly here. And it's that trying to recreate the past is not going to bring you the same amount of joy as it is to create a new success, a new mile, uh, like a new goal trying to recreate the past, thinking that that's the only form in which success can manifest, can be draining. Second message that I'm getting here is don't be afraid to work on yourself from a space of creativity and manifestation. If you choose to go down that rabbit hole, in every chance that you get, try to do it from a space of love not obligation or fear. 
And if you choose to pass, that is okay too. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So that's what I have for you and for me. You know, sometimes I do these readings and when I'm reading the cards, it's very difficult, difficult for me to put myself in the context of the cards. I just open my mouth and spirit talks through me. But afterwards, you know, when I listen to them to maybe find the right title for them or whatever, sometimes I listen to them on purpose. It's like something here is for me. So I replay the reading and listen to it from like a like a audience point of view or whatever. And they help tons. Sometimes, you know, it's just these messages are Honestly, very sacred. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for letting me be. And if you have this understanding that light workers don't have emotions or that they shouldn't, this is just not the channel for you. And there are so many readers out there that you can identify with and that you can resonate with. For me, you know, I incorporate all areas. I pay attention to my physical health, not only from a natural energetic point of view, but also from a medical point of view. I pay attention to my mental health, not only from you know a spiritual point of view, energetic point of view, but also through you know a therapist, psychiatrist, you know. I try to bring all of the aspects and layers of what being a human is. And it's not pretty sometimes, you know what I mean? Like sometimes it's not fucking pretty. And you know, it is what it is. So if you are okay with that kind of realness and understanding that sometimes I can show up and shine and give you my best, and sometimes I don't have my best to give, then this is the place for you. <laughs> this is the place for you. I'm sending all my love. I hope that this reading helps, you know, the messages help, or at least, you know, connecting helps. Let me know if it does, um, and I'll see you in the next reading, my loves.